Welcome to week two, guys, in media management. Um, I've heard from a couple of you, and that's a good thing, because if you've got questions, I want to be there to help you, help you guide you through. So um, if you do, again, have questions, email me, text me, call me, come see me if you're on campus, and we'll work through this together, okay? Uh, this is week two. We're going to cover chapters one and two, dealing with leadership and motivation. These are heady topics when you talk about education programs and business programs, because how you lead somebody and how you motivate them are critical topics. I know in my PhD in communication education, I had two classes that dealt with leadership and motivation. Very interesting topics for me. I really enjoy working in this area. Um, the idea here is twofold. Number one, how do you like to be led? And what motivates you? What kind of leaders and what attributes of these leaders do you try and emulate? And then how are you motivated? How are you inspired? What helps you get going to do the best job possible? These are things we need to think about as we're leading in our, media, in our management organizations. The second thing to think about is what kind of a workforce do you have? Because knowing how they need to be led, whether they're very experienced or they're, they're new to the field, how they like to be motivated. Do they need somebody to give them a good kick in the pants every once in a while? Or are they more into um, positive reinforcement? It may not fit with your style, but you need to think about the fact that this is your crew. This is your workforce. You need to lead them and motivate them in such a way to get the most out of them and to get the most out of your organization. So these are very good topics. I'm glad our text starts with these. Uh, that's what we'll dig into this week. Um, I've posted a couple of questions for each chapter on, discussion, on the uh, course documents on Blackboard. So take a look at that. They're just there to help guide your reading and help think you, you think about uh, what you're reading and how it applies to you. Utilize these if you want for your, uh, your summary paper, your reflection paper on each of the chapters. Now, since we're dealing with two chapters, I know I talk about uh, for each of these papers, they need to be a page and a half, uh, maybe two pages um, to cover the topic. Since we're covering two and since they're very closely related, let's aim for two and a half total on these, okay? If you get to three, that's fine, um, but I don't want to go too much over that. We, part of the reason I do these summary papers this way is to help you learn to summarize and conceptualize quickly what it is you're talking about. You know, when you do more research papers, you're going to have to write an abstract in, I believe it's 140 words, so you got to get used to uh, writing and getting your point across very quickly, so that's the idea here. Okay, uh, remember those are due Friday by two o'clock. Um, the discussion board, they were due by Friday, last Friday by five o'clock. Um, I think I got one from everybody, I appreciate that. Looking forward to getting to know you a little bit better. But this coming Friday by five o'clock, um, paper, this paper is due for leadership and motivation. Okay, if you have any questions, call me, email me, come see me, and have a great week.